seven catches in 79 yards with a touchdown in last night's win over the Redskins. Impressed by his performance, Jets wide receiver Brandon Marshall tweeted late last night, I think ODB is the most entertaining player in football. Swag, most entertaining ever, is at Ocho Cinco. All right, guys, who is the most entertaining player in the NFL right now, Stephen A.? Well, I don't think it's Odell Beckham Jr. I think he's spectacular. I think he's a spectacular young talent with an incredibly bright future ahead of him so long as he can stay healthy. His hands are magnificent. We all know that. And it's not just a one-handed catch that he had against the Dallas Cowboys last year, which was the catch of the decade that most of us would say as far as I'm concerned. But we just know that he has elite hands and he can just do those things. Nobody's refuting that. But I would dare anybody, I would challenge anybody to sit there and definitively say that I'm wrong when I say the most exciting receiver in the NFL would have the most entertaining is Antonio Brown for the Pittsburgh Steelers. This dude is absolutely sensational. First of all, he's a threat in special teams, number one. Number two, most of the stuff he does is after the catch. It's not just catching the football. It's what he does after the catch. You saw that play that he had against San Francisco last Sunday when he got down to uh, about the five-yard line, a two-yard line, something like that, when he went in one direction and then turned around and went the other and it had everybody scurrying all over the place to find him. Plus, when you consider that, also consider his love of production. We spent so much time last year talking about Des Bryant, talking about Demarius Thomas, talking about uh, Megatron and what would it be like when he got himself 100% lamenting the fact that Julio Jones was injured because we knew what he could do once he got healthy, even though he had over 1,400 yards receiving last year, if I remember correctly. But look at Antonio Brown. Last year, 129 receptions for 1,698 yards. The year before that, 110 receptions for 1,499 yards. And this ain't some five yard, 10 yard dip and dunks to Wes Welker like Tom Brady did for so many years. This is Antonio Brown we're talking about. You're throwing to him outside of the numbers, inside of the numbers. He's playing on special teams. He's a threat every time he touches the ball. Plus he's a miniature. He's no taller than Skip for crying out loud. But this dude goes out on the miniature. field and does major, major damage. And I would say to you that as great as old to Eldel Beckham, Ed Beckham is and obviously will be, I'd like to see him do what Antonio Brown is doing on a consistent basis because this kid is spectacular. Of course he went a stealer over a giant, uh, but rightfully so. By the way. Whatever. Y'all are getting all personal. I'm, I'm, slightly, I'm slightly insulted that you referred to me as miniature. Yeah, he's you, not You're going to make me take my I, shirt off? I didn't off. say that. Yeah, I you didn't said say he's that. miniature. I, didn't, I, just said, I just said he's about your height. Yeah, okay. It ain't like you 5'2". I'm, not, I'm, I'm just not, saying. Okay. He's not Megatron. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Thank you. I got all right. it. All right. Okay. You know, it, it is very interesting, to Molly's point, you picked a player on the team that you like the most from your childhood days, Pittsburgh Steelers. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm going to evaluate this question. I'm going to sort of define this question by would I go out of my way to watch that guy play on television if I had other things to do? Would I say, I okay. just can't miss that guy? Okay. Antonio's not that guy. I know him off the field. I like the heck out of him. He's a good little dude, and I know he's a little dude by NFL standards. He, he is a game changer. I, you, you made a very strong case and a, a, an almost case-closed kind of case, so I, I can't knock it. I, I'm not saying you're absolutely wrong about this. Now back to Odell Beckham Jr. I'm, I'm with you about this, and I, I don't want to use this question to knock him because he's really, really good. I, we, we all agree with that. But would I go yeah. out of my way to watch him play on television? Not yet. He hasn't got me there yet. He, he, to, to your point, it wasn't the catch of the decade against my Cowboys last year. It was the greatest catch I've ever seen. I still see it, and I marvel at it. But I feel like a lot of people, especially out in the Twitterverse, are waiting for the next one of those. So they're on the edge of their seat. Maybe Brandon Marshall is. I don't know.
waiting for the next one of those. He made a good catch last night in the end zone to snatch the ball away from the defender because he's, he's big time. But is, is, is his captivation factor the highest in football right now? I, I would rather watch Antonio Brown than I would Odell right now. But that may change at some point. Now we're back. That may change. Now you're. Now we're back to where. Where's your heart? Where's my heart? Mm. Throw it up. I, I, okay, I got two things here that I'm going to throw out. Number one, and this is kind of my my one A on entertainment value. Listen, Rob Gronkowski is captivating to me, and and I am. I'm a Brady fan more than I'm a Patriot fan, as you well know. But I got to tell you, mm -hmm. he does something every game where I say. I'm not sure any human is capable of doing that right now. So it's entertaining to me. He's like, um, this is way before your time, but, but our beloved Mike Ditka, he's the modern day Ditka because in his day, Mike Ditka as a tight end was just so much bigger and stronger and faster than anyone who could cover him or tackle him that, that he just, he, he was the man among boys on the football field. He was King Kong. He was, to, to Rex's point last week, it's gonna take King Kong to guard Gronk one on one and so that's entertaining to me to my eye like because i i'll see him make a, a pretty good catch because he's very athletic with great hands he'll snatch a ball and then he'll run over somebody i'll say I, nobody can do that i'm not quite finished but go ahead go ahead then i i raise my hand to speak to interject because i'm wondering should we change this question in this regard rather than who's the most entertaining play in the nfl now why don't we just sit there and give some perspective about where we're coming from? Because, Skip, when I think about a Rob Gronkowski, I think about his celebrations in the end zone because okay. I love it. Like when he was All in right. England and when he was in England and he just you just showed him against St. Louis. To me, that was funny. You okay. know, I loved it. But that's it almost was like Ocho Cinco like. But, OK, but, go ahead. That's right. But, yeah. but 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 for me, Skip, all time, prime time. I, okay. I, All right. I, that's I had, fine. I wanted to right. see this this dude yep. high step okay. at some point. You know, even when he wasn't scoring, just watching Dion with special teams prancing back and forth, waiting for the ball to come his way. You had people at the uh, edge of their seat; they'd run okay. from the concession stand. I'm with you. What is he I going would tune to do? Him in. As a Falcon, yes. I would turn him in. As a Cowboy, as a 49er, I would want to watch him. Okay, I'm with that's you. That's what I'm saying. Okay, he now was back the show. to present day to to, to now. Again. I grew up a Cowboy fan, so excuse my bias here, but there are two players who captivate me, and again, I'm going to watch it anyway, but I'm, I'm trying to remove myself a little bit from this. Des Bryant captivates me because he plays so angry. He plays with such positive rage. I, I feel like he's just going to grab the game and just squeeze the life out of it the way he catches a pass and runs with the football. But his running mate, his, his, the other half of his duo, is this quarterback named Romo and you've had a lot of issues with him and I've had a lot of issues so in the biggest picture for me the most entertaining player on the planet is Tony Romo sometimes for the wrong reason sometimes because listen when he's hot he's crazy hot he'll make no look flip passes to his backs coming out of the backfield like he did against your Giants the other night he, he actually no look to Joseph Randall in the last drive and when he's cold, as you know, he can be crazy cold, like oh no, Romo cold. And because of that, he's completely captivating to me. And I believe he is to you too. You won't admit it publicly, but you would go well, out of your way to watch Tony Romo play football because Skip, it's it's a show, man. He's going to put on Skip, a great show or a or a bad show. Right? I brought up I brought up the past to give us some kind of perspective as how we were judging this question. But if you're going to use that as an analogy, you're basically saying for the good or the bad, it makes it entertaining. If that's the case, Skip, for me, I could throw Jay Cutler into the conversation because I'm always I, waiting I for that accident. He doesn't do enough but wait good, a minute. though. I, wait, everybody in the control, in the war room on Sunday, yeah. we're sitting in the room saying, Stephen A., what is Cutler going to do for you? I said, don't turn it off your screen. He's coming. He'll make it. Okay. So I'm saying, if you're talking entertainment on that level, sure, we could throw, I could throw Cutler in there. I wasn't thinking I, I like know, that. I know, but, but is Jay Cutler as good as Tony Romo? No, Tony Romo can be great. I mean, yeah, but great. I'm thinking, but I'm saying that when you are, 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 are clamoring to watch somebody play, 
It's that you're waiting for something magnificent and sensational and box office style. That's what I was talking about with Antonio Brown compared to an Odell Beckham Jr. I wasn't thinking about somebody who could wet the bed and tank it so badly and have no, you laughing because I throw Jay Cutler into that conversation. No, I won't go out of my way to watch him, but I can't miss a Romo game. And again, you can say I'm speaking with my heart. No, but you that's surprised definitely me with that, though. Heart. I thought you were going to say that's Dez. That's definitely your well, heart. Because I don't want to miss part of the Dez, package. but Tony Romo I could miss. You can miss I, I thought you were going to go. Yes, yes. Dez, can't miss. All right, how about those Ravens? By the way, Molly, could you please stop throwing up that X sign? You've done it about seven oh, times whatever. in the last two shows. I don't even want to shows. hear it from you. I don't even want you to claim the Giants anymore. X, oh, X sign. Oh, 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 you don't even like Wait, Eli. She just called you a I'm fake nobody. Giants We're talking skip. about the Ravens no and Bengals next. No one from Connecticut is stop allowed it. to tell me what kind of New York fan I'm supposed to be. You love Bristol.